Hello YouTubers, Ivory Debs here, and it's very late. It's going to be a late night chat. It's after 2 a.m. It is, well, Monday night, or actually Tuesday morning. I wanted to talk about, first of all, um, I got a fat lip. See that? Yeah, I had something fall right on my lip today. Anyway, I do want to talk to you guys. Now, some most of you are fantastic. I have the most loving and kind and, and just beautiful subscribers. And then there's a few people who basically, I feel like they're trolling me because they, they watch every single video I've ever made. And um, I think I've given a misconception of really like what I can do and what I don't do. So this is sort of a, you know, letting you know something. Possibly the people that are talking to me don't even have a travel trailer or a RV with a slide or any kind of RV. Uh, I've had, I just want to say, I've owned a pop-up, two of them. I've hitched my pop-up to my uh, car several times. I had Kathleen with me, but we did it together. It does help to have two people when you're doing things in camping. After I had the two pop-ups, years went by and I bought, when my husband died, I bought a small travel trailer, a 19-foot 2012 Easy Traveler. And it was nice. I went camping four times and I was taught how to do the levelers, how to, how to plug in by my friend Neil. Um, and he would make me do one, and then he would, like, I would do one after he showed me. I know how. Now, that trailer did not have sway bars on it. Sway bars are very heavy, and they are kind of tricky and not easy to use all the time. At least, I think, because I see men trying to do it, too. It's not just me. This travel trailer that I'm in right now, Christine, I had Christine set up in Palm Harbor for three months before I started my trip to Alabama. So I learned a lot then, and I've always been very lucky that people that I meet become my friends and that people might, men, may want to help me with something. I mean, I had help with a water heater. I don't, I don't know anything about it. But I will tell you, and I do appreciate all the help. I need it. I'm not saying I don't. But I'm not weak. Um, I, I pulled this trailer from Palm Harbor, Florida to Alabama. I stopped. I didn't go very far. I stopped six nights it took me. And who do you think, you know, hooked up the water, hooked up the electric, emptied the black tanks. I empty my black tanks every two weeks. I did it. Nobody did it here when I was closing this travel trailer up, and it's not easy. It's not because just I have so much stuff, which, yes, after nine months, I do have a lot of stuff around, but uh, all my stuff is important to me. It's my life. It's my stuff. I definitely work hard. It is a big job. I left, I left the last park, the hilltop, kind of fast. It's my business. But most, mostly I did it because I really wanted to have a swimming pool so I could cool off. And a, a place came available and I decided to grab it. So it was very quick. I vacuumed my whole house up so that nothing gets caught in the track. I moved, I moved everything and folded things, the table up and moved the, the fan and moved my, my box here and cleared, made sure that the TV and everything above it and all of my stuff was moved and safely packed. Took everything off of my counters, that's what you do, that would, that would fall all over. So it's a big job. And it can be better, it can get easier, and more organized as I go. But I was planted for nine months, that's what happens. Wasn't that bad, actually. 
I did it. Now, as far as the outside of the travel trailer, I put the awning in. I did my black tanks and un undid them and the electric. I did have a uh, Patrick and Chico around and they were very, very, you know, kind and t gave me a hand, which I can't, you know, I can't say thank you enough. It's wonderful. I am, you know, 65 years old. I'm sorry, I'm not the strongest person in the world. I have a hernia. But I'm doing these things. I, I drove my travel trailer. No problem. I can drive really well. I backed up my truck to right where my hitch is, lined it up. I have been able to take and put the ball underneath, underneath it and get it to lock in. The only thing that I really do need practice on with this particular travel trailer is those big stabilizer bars. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know. But it, they're heavy, and it's not that easy. I'm going to have my girlfriend, Chris, at the end of this month. She's coming, you know, on the 9th. And we are going to have a good time. And it's really nice to have somebody that can stand behind and check the brake lights, help you remember to do the awnings, I mean, the... Uh, Sat the um, antenna, make sure it's down. All the things you do when there's two people, it's a lot easier. Don't think for one minute that I'm not going to survive this trip. I am going to survive and do it well and have a good time. And any of the bad times that come along, that's part of life. And it's not easy. And if I feel like going to a motel or if Chris and I want to do that every four days so we can chill out, put our feet up, have the, the car ready to go in the morning. It's my business. I don't ask anybody for anything. I'm not having a GoFundMe. I don't do that. My paintings are from my heart. I paint out of passion. If you buy them, I appreciate it. It helps me. That's right. It does. But it's an honest thing that I do. I just wanted to put this video out and let you know that I'm not lazy and I'm not afraid to go outside and, and do the levels. Yes, it's nice to have someone do them on one side, you do them on one side. Yes, it's nice to have somebody pick up a stabilizer bar at the same time and do it together. Yes, it is nice to have company helping and I've been very lucky. That, any, that whenever I've needed help, I've gotten it. I don't need pills. I'm not depressed. I have had ups and downs. I've lost a husband, sold a house, bought a camper. Maybe it's not, maybe I'm not the ideal RVer. And when I get to Oregon, I may, maybe I'll give up RVing altogether. This is not going to be the end of my life. I said when I started, I'm going to do it for at least one year. And I'm going to wind up doing it for two years. That's it. I am a happy person. I'm not feeling real happy with a few of the comments I received. But that's part of YouTube. Just know that I'm not lazy and I can do just about anything I need to do. I'm woman, hear me roar. For those of you who had to listen to this, I'm sorry. I, most of you people are so kind to me and supportive and understanding. But some of the people don't know what it's like to watch someone die or to try something that they've never done before. I don't want to like stay in Florida and have regrets that I didn't go out and do it. That's the bottom line. I am going for it. And if you don't think I can do it, switch off, unsubscribe, and beat it up. Go away. If you can't say something reasonably nice, keep it to yourself. I don't need your wisdom. For those of you who care about me, you know I care back. And it's YouTube, and I will meet some of you in person on this road trip, I hope. And I will be keeping as much videos flowing as I can. There's certain times of night that I can actually use the internet here. 
take care and and I just hope you all are understanding of what I'm trying to say tonight. I love you all. Peace out. Definitely peace out.